Hello and welcome to... Oh, wait, why is this here? Sorry, force of habit, I guess. Welcome to Retro Breeze. Today, I got the Razer Kishi V2. I was a huge fan of the original Kishi, so here's my unboxing and first impressions. The V2 is packaged in a premium way you'd expect from Razer. Right off the bat, it's much smaller than the V1, even though it doesn't compress quite as much. The styling is similar, but everything seems a little bit more streamlined. In the box, you get some rubber inserts to support more devices, and an instruction manual, as long as some stickers, which I actually didn't notice until just now. And here's the Kishi V2. It feels much, much lighter than the V1, but it's actually only about 20 grams or so. It has a static USB port. I kind of wish it pivoted like the game throws, but it's not really a big deal. The whole thing feels pretty nice in the hands, much less bulky than the V1. It feels really high quality in general, which is what I expected. The face buttons are kind of crazy. They are incredibly clicky, like a mouse button. You actually need, and I'm not exaggerating, zero force to press these. They are just insanely easy to click. The function buttons are more traditional clicky switches, like on the V1, and the sticks are exactly the same as a Nintendo Switch. Right off the bat, I have to say I'm really disappointed that they left out the amazing sticks from the V1. Honestly, they were just so good and this downgrade to the tiny switch sticks just kind of feels like a cheap out to me. Do we really need another device with these same sticks? Why does everybody use these? I'm, it just kind of confuses me. Anyway, the D-pad has a nice bowl shape to it and a matte texture instead of the glossy from the old Kishi. The switches here are a lot more like normal clicky switches compared to the face buttons. It's so much more tactile than the V1. Uh, there's basically no travel or pivot at all, but I can't imagine this will be any worse of an experience than the first one. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be a lot better. And these face buttons, wow, they are the complete opposite of the V1. They're super super clicky. You can just glide your finger lightly across to activate them. It remains to be seen whether I end up liking these or not. Um, there is zero travel, it's actually kind of amazing. It almost reminds me of a haptic click, it's there's that little travel. The telescopic mechanism is incredibly smooth and feels really nice. Uh, Razer really took notes from the Backbone 1 here. Here's a better look at the overall shape, and check out that flared trigger. It feels so good. There was absolutely none of that scratchiness that the V1 had. My Poco F1 didn't fit with its case, but just like the old Kishi, you can remove the rubber inserts and then it fits just fine. I'm using Moonlight Streaming here, and the controller works immediately just as expected. Now, actually playing a game with the Kishi V2 is nothing short of amazing. I was really apprehensive about these buttons and D-pad, but honestly, they feel incredible to use. In a fast-paced fighting game like this, the Kishi V2 is just a joy to use. The sticks do just fine. I do still wish they were the old ones, but they work just fine. I moved to the D-pad here, and it also works really, really well. It's basically impossible to do an accidental diagonal because doing so requires a noticeable tactile push of two switches at once. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. There's no pivot, there's no roll. It just kind of clicks down and you need to literally physically click two buttons at once in order to do a diagonal. It sounds like it would be awful, but uh, it's leagues above the original D-pad and I really, really like it. Oh yeah, the L1 and R1 are nice and clicky too. Clicky is definitely the theme for this controller. Shinobi 3 is another game that demands precise input and the V2 performed just wonderfully. I didn't miss a single input while I was playing, although I did forget how to play sometimes. The days of hard difficulty and just 20 kunai runs is long gone for me. Next, I took Ace Combat for a whirl. This is the first time I've used the Dark Star and it's crazy fast. Oh, darn it. Anyway, the Kishi V2 also did really well here. The triggers are just a pleasure to use. They have no creakiness or scratchiness, they're just buttery smooth. I think the game server must be sweating with how good these triggers are. I find it kind of weird at first where they put the M1 and M2 buttons, but in the end you get a kind of triple stacked setup. I can't wait to try mapping them. Uh, they're in a really nice place actually. I like that they stick up a little bit more than the other buttons. It makes them really easy to find. Alright, let's try flying at some high speed here, or not. Anyway, my first impressions of the Razer Kishi V2 are very, very good. It feels like an optimized, streamlined improvement on the original in a smaller, more comfortable form factor. Other than the sticks, which are pretty much just okay, every single part of this is better than the original. No doubt I'll be playing with this a lot in the coming weeks, so look forward to a full review and more. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video, and I will see you next time.